Why won't he answer my text messages? Part 2. Having explained why the various schools of narcissists fail to respond to your text message when you are the primary source, it also falls to be considered why this is done with three classes of secondary source, namely the intimate partner secondary source, the dirty secret intimate partner secondary source, and the non-intimate partner secondary source. The intimate partner secondary source. A secondary source is a family member, a friend or a colleague. Unless incest is being committed, it is invariably the case that the intimate partner secondary source is somebody that we are engaging in a relationship with, who is a colleague or a friend, and that relationship is, as the name suggests, of an intimate nature. This person is either somebody who is being seduced by our kind for the purposes of being later promoted to become the new primary source at the appropriate time, or is someone who has not secured the promotion yet, but is someone we regard as too valuable to discard. Accordingly, the IPSS might be someone who is on the up in terms of deduction, as we look to ensure that they will be a reliable and high functioning primary source, or it might be somebody who did not make the cut but since we've invested time and effort in them and their fuel, plus other benefits, they are still of use to us. So, what does it mean if we are not responding to your text messages when you are the IPSS? During the initial seduction. It is the IPSS who experiences the most intense of seductions. You will have begun as a tertiary source, a stranger who has been targeted for your potential. You are therefore very quickly promoted to a secondary source, and since sex is such a weapon of mass seduction, you will have been further promoted to the position of IPSS. As we look to promote you to the primary source, you will experience the love bombing and the manifestation of our infatuation through the near ceaseless text messaging. When there is a hiatus in the text messaging, this is not a devaluation but it is rather done to test you to see how you respond. If you are relaxed about this change, for instance, you have grown used to a text being sent to you at 8 a.m. every morning, and then we do not send one, but you do not respond to this failure in any way, we will be disappointed. If, however, you text us at 8.01 a.m. asking us how we are, which is your attempt to find out why we have not texted you without asking a search, then we will be pleased with your response and in such a circumstance likely to respond immediately. Any kind of delay in responding or period of silence is done purely to test how quickly you will respond and what you will send in response to us. This is not a devaluation. The delay will only be for a short period of time, a few hours or so, as it is a test and we do not want to risk losing your interest. Accordingly, if you do not respond for a few hours, although this is highly unlikely, we will contact you. If it was a devaluation, the silence would continue for far longer. Furthermore, when you do respond, we will reply to you after a handful of your messages in a short time period, again, because we do not want to risk losing your interest. And we are satisfied that you are responding in the way that we approve of. During the golden period seduction, if the targeting and the initial seduction prove successful, then you will have been promoted from IPSS to primary source, and therefore you ought to have regard to the circumstances of the earlier recording of why won't he answer my text messages, part one. If, however, you are the IPSS and you have not been promoted to primary source, but you have not been discarded, then we have opted to keep you connected to use as an IPSS. You will be aware that you have not been promoted because we will still see the wife or girlfriend, or if none was ever mentioned, you will not see us as often as you once did during the initial seduction. You might think that this is a devaluation. It is not. You are now in the golden period of seduction for an IPSS. This means we still regard you as good, we want your fuel, 
But unlike an intimate partner primary source, we will not avail ourselves of the fuel that you provide as often. This means that the fuel you provide as an IPSS does not go stale, but rather we intermittently return to you. We in effect keep you hanging on, future faking as to what might happen, but we have no intention of promoting you, just yet, although circumstances may change further down the line, since we deemed you not to make the grade. What will be happening now is that we will A, continue with the devaluation of the primary source, B, continue to engage with you as an IPSS, and C, we will be engaging with another IPSS in the initial seduction period in order to determine whether they might be promoted to a primary source. Accordingly, when your messages are not being returned in these circumstances, it is not because of a devaluation, but is because we have put you back on the shelf and we are engaging with the primary source and or a new IP SS who we are looking to promote. You remain of use to us, but this is an intermittent use. Understand therefore that the silences and they can be protracted are not because we have turned against you, but because we are busy elsewhere. You may notice that you do receive some replies, but they are short and perfunctory in nature. For example, busy, we'll call later. Can't talk, meeting. Busy, but miss you. Tied up, but we'll message later. These crumbs of comfort are provided because we do not want to lose you. We enjoy the fuel that is received from, mess from you messaging us and because you remain in the seduction golden period, we have no need to devalue you. It is just not your turn to have time with us. You can, as an intimate partner secondary source, find yourself held in this position for a very long time. Not good enough to become the primary source, but not bad enough to devalue and discard. The devaluation. The devaluation of an IPSS is rare because we like to keep you around as a reliable and occasional fuel provider. We invested time in you, and because you function whenever we turn to you, you are delighted to gain some time with us at last, your fuel always appears potent to us. Therefore, we have no need to devalue. Devaluation would only take place if you began to refuse to see us when we decided it was time to pay you a visit, or you no longer provided us with fuel. Once this has happened, we consider you to be a malfunctioning IPSS and we will devalue you. This means that we will ignore your text messages. You will not get crumbs of comfort and the period of ignoring you will be extensive until we decide to respond. The response will be malign in nature. Thus, if you are an IPSS, you will know that A, extensive delays occur to reply to your repeated messages and B, when the response finally comes, it is malign in nature, and this means you are being devalued. The discard. In the rare event that you have been discarded as an IPSS, then you are immediately painted black, and it is as if you do not exist. We do not regard you as even worth bothering with for negative fuel, although, of course, we will still derive some from your messages, but we will not prod you from for more if you are chasing us. And therefore, if you do not get a reply to your text messages begging for a reply and an explanation, it is because we regard you as an irritation beneath dealing with, and in all likelihood, you will end up blocked. The Dirty Secret Intimate Partner Secondary Source. This person is the person who is kept hidden away, but is dipped into for excellent fuel with considerable regularity. I will be expanding on who this individual is in a separate recording called Dirty Little Secret. The initial seduction period. For the Dirty Little Secret, this will be intense in a similar way to that described above as concerning the intimate partner secondary source. There is unlikely to be any delay in replying to text messages because there is no need to test you. You have already been allocated the role as a Dirty Little Secret and you will never become the primary source. Your function 
is to be available at a set time or times each week for those secret trysts where the clandestine nature of the connection increases the potency of the fuel since you are likely to be the other woman or the other man. As we embed you, and we do so quickly, into this role, we will respond to your messages because we do not want to A, risk losing you, and B, you trying to contact other people you, name, you may know mutually, which then risks exposing you as a dirty secret. Thus, there will be no failure to reply. The seduction golden period. Just like the intimate partner secondary source, you are slotted into a long-standing golden period because you are used intermittently. Whilst kept secret, you will be seen more often than an intimate partner secondary source who is in the seduction golden period. That's intimate partner secondary source has failed to become the primary source, but is kept and strung along for future use. You were never going to be the primary source, and therefore you are seen more often because the nature of your fuel is a two hour fuel injection before we disappear back to the primary source and play the role of doting husband or loyal partner. It is the nature of the dirty secret that because they know of the primary source, they are less likely to badger us through messages. There will not be any intentional failure to respond to the messages of the dirty secret, and often the reply will explain why we cannot speak or message at length, but the content of the message will be complimentary, encouraging, and contain future faking, while slating the primary source, amounting to improved crumbs of comfort. Indeed, there will often be an explanation given to explain when we are next available. Note that the intimate partner secondary source would not be afforded this supposed courtesy. For example, can't message for long, got to take the witch to her friends, so I'll message you around 8pm, can't wait to kiss you again. Difficult to text, she's still here. We'll message, we'll message again as soon as I can. Really missing you and want to show you just how much ASAP. Hi, sex machine. Stuck at present. We'll message after 6 p.m. Kiss, 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 kiss. Thus, if you find that your messages are always answered, your expectations managed, and you know that there is a primary source involved with us, you are a dirty secret intimate partner secondary source who is in the lengthy seduction golden period. The devaluation. It is very rare for a dirty secret intimate partner secondary source to be devalued because of their compliance, acceptance of their role, and the delicious turbo boost of fuel which they provide every so often. We do not become bored of this person's fuel, and devaluation would only take place if the dirty secret eventually decides that he or she wants more or tires of their role, in effect working out that they are just a dirty little secret. If there are demands for more time, threats to expose the arrangement, or the fuel is diminished, then we may apply some more sugar to calm the situation. But this, if this is unlikely to work, then we will turn to threats and devaluation. We will then cut the dirty secret adrift and make them persona non grata. We will not respond to any of the messages for a long time. And once we do, the response will be savage, malign and threatening in order to ensure that the dirty secret stays silent. The discard. Just like the intimate partner secondary source, the discard is rare. But if it does happen, your messages will be ignored because not only are you painted black by us, we wish you would just disappear because as a dirty secret, you have the potential to cause us problems. By not answering, we are denying your existence. We are unlikely to block you because we want to keep an eye on what you are doing in case it proves necessary to dole out a malign follow-up hoover in order to keep you in line. But we will monitor your text but not reply. We are no longer as interested in your fuel, but it is rather the reaction of wishing you would just go away and let us get on with our machinations in peace. The non-intimate secondary source. This will include inner and outer circle friends, and with colleagues and family. The initial seduction, this happens quickly as it does not take too much effort to bind this person to us as friend or colleague, or indeed as family, as a non-intimate secondary source. And the reality is that there is unlikely 
to ever be an occasion or indeed time for a failure to respond to the text messages occurring. The Seduction Golden Period As explained elsewhere, the non-intimate secondary source enjoys a near permanent golden period because their fuel is only relied on intermittently and thus remains potent. The NISS is also often very loyal and receives bribing benefits from our kind, so the seduction golden period will continue for a long time. If there is a reply failure in respect of your text messages, it is because we are busy about something else. The NISS, whilst important to us, is expendable, and therefore the messages of an NISS will not be treated with priority. The fuel obtained whilst good is not the highest, and generally, in tandem with our concept of superiority and control, we consider that the NIS, once bound, is not going to become disloyal because we have been slow to respond to text messages. We take the view that they will conclude we are just busy and they will patiently wait for a reply. We have no need to rush and no need to devalue them during this stage. Accordingly, if you are an NISS and your message is not being responded to, it is because we are busy doing something else and you are not a priority. The devaluation. The devaluation of an NISS is very rare, but if it does happen, then the failure to respond will be elongated in time, with many messages piling up unanswered, until we finally respond with a scathing put down. There will be no words of comfort, no excuses offered, but an unpleasant reply is designed to draw fuel from you. The discard. The discard of an NS NISS is also rare, but if it does happen, it is as if you are struck from the record, made persona non grata, and in all likelihood, you will be blocked. We freeze you out, and no doubt have already replaced you with somebody else. Your messages seeking explanations and reconciliation will be unheeded, and indeed, in many instances, not even yet. Such is your inferior status to us.